Hey everyone, welcome back to Hope Gardens TV. My name is Armando, and in this week's episode, we're gonna finish this hydroponic system. We started drilling the holes and I made a little mistake and I wanted to share it with you guys. Whenever I built this, I made the top first and then I made the sprayer system. When I drilled the holes on the top and I took the top off, I built the spray system, not realizing that the gaps between the pipes here uh, were gonna be a little bit smaller than the gaps between the holes. So when I put the top on, if you guys can see, the PVC pipes are obstructing the way of the net pots. So unfortunately, they're not gonna be able to go in. And if they do, you're gonna have to squeeze them in. And unfortunately, that's, you don't want that. So what I would recommend to do is build the sprayer system first, put it on the top, and then make your marks based on where the holes are gonna go. That way you can make sure that the net pots will fit right in, okay? All right, so now that we have the new holes drilled and we made sure that all the net pots are able to fit in here, we are good to go. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're just gonna vacuum all that debris out of here, clean it off, you know, rinse it, make sure it's nice and clean uh, before, uh, before we turn the system on, just to make sure that none of this gets into the pumps. So here we go. So now everything is squeaky clean. So now we're ready to install it in the Gorilla Grow tent. But what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna install everything out here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the sprayer system installed in here. I'm gonna get the water pump installed in here, get everything ready. Uh, and then once it's done, we're gonna head over to the Gorilla Grow tent and see what it looks like in there. This is a reminder for you guys just make sure that the T that you use right here in the middle is threaded. And the reason why I mentioned that it needs to be threaded is because when you screw this piece into here, this hose is gonna go right on here and then the other end is gonna go into the water pump, okay? So let's go ahead and assemble it so that you guys can see what it looks like. Press that down, make sure it's nice and snug. You wanna get it low enough to just where the cat fits. All right, maybe a little bit lower. You don't wanna put it too far down because uh, it still has to spray the roots. So. All right, so now we're ready to put some net cups in. As you can see, they all fit now. If you sand these guys out a little bit more, Probably be able to fit in there a little bit more comfortable, but personally, I like more of a snug fit uh, because once the plant gets really big and it gets heavy, um, this has a little bit more grip to it. So let's uh, let's go ahead and hook up the hose. Always make sure you guys that the adapter that you're going to be putting on the water pump fits the hose, and then you want to make sure that the hose is also the same size as the adapter that goes on the PVC pipe. So you just screw this guy all the way in, all the way in. Don't forget the O-ring. It just helps with the uh, water pressure. All right, and then what you wanna do is put it right on the bottom of the tote. Most water pumps now are coming with the suction cups on the bottom. So once you put it here on the bottom, you just press it down, boom, good to go. You just wanna take an estimate measurement of what it, what it measures from this lip right here to the top of this lip right here, okay? All right, all the way down in there. All right, perfect fit. Next thing we're gonna do is install the air pump. 
So the whole purpose of an air pump, you guys, because we're building a hydroponic system, the roots aren't gonna be in the soil. Uh, so what you need to do is give the water that the roots are gonna be sitting in some kind of oxygen so you don't drown the roots or they don't rot away. Now, when you get an air pump, you guys, um, I personally recommend uh, to get an air pump that has a controller on it. That way, if you're building a smaller hydroponic system or a bigger a hydroponic system, you're able to control the airflow on it. To be completely honest with you guys, you can never have too much air bubbles in your, in your tank. Um, so me personally, I like to have this thing cranked all the way up at all times. There's no such thing as having too many bubbles. So in my opinion, just keep it, keep it at full blast the whole time and you should be okay. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna drill a hole right here in the middle uh, so that the air hose can go directly into the tank. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna hook up the air stone to the air stones, and this is what's gonna oxygenate the water. I would recommend to clean these things first before you put them in the tank. They have like some pumice uh, dust on them a little bit. Stick this bad boy in there. And then just kind of see right around how long, how long you're gonna need. Okay. All right, well, I mean, if the air pump is gonna be somewhere out here. Uh, and cool, yeah, it looks like that's, that's a pretty good distance right there. So what I'll do is I'll just keep my, keep my fingernail right there, take this thing out, and then just measure another piece of the hose that's around, around the same size. Sorry if you hear my dog snoring. I just passed out. Hook up the air stones. Okay, before you hook it up to the air pump, what you wanna do is feed it through here. Feed both hoses through the hole. You wanna hook these bad boys up. Okay, so next thing is getting the water pump cable out of the tote so that we can plug it into a power strip. So making a little flap out of one of these squares. So the reason why I wouldn't recommend to cut an entire hole and just leave this wide open is because if the light hits the water, it's gonna create all kinds of uh, algae and it doesn't harm the plants. No, there's nothing wrong with it. The only problem is that it steals from the nutrients that you're putting into the water. So. All right, now what that did was it creates a little flap, okay? So all you have to do is just take your cable, slide it up in here, and out of here, okay? And if you really, if you really wanna get fancy, you can really cut a little tiny slit, so then that way the cable is just peeking through. I'm gonna do it just for demonstration purposes, but you don't really have to do this, but I'm just OCD and I don't want any light to go into my reservoir. So I'm gonna absolutely make sure that everything is nice, nice and snug. Boom, okay. So now what I did was I created a little, little hole there so that the cable can fit right through. There we go, that's it. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna bring the tote inside of the grow tent that we built on the first episode. If you haven't seen that episode, I highly recommend to go back and watch it. All right, so let's put all this stuff on top of here and I'll meet you guys on the grow tent. All right, let's get this thing set up in here. Power strip is one of the only extra things that you're gonna need. Um, Gorilla grow tents actually have a space open right here so that you don't have to run the cable all the way around. Uh, you can just throw the cable right through here. Right through here. And then you can just grab it on the other side and then plug it into the wall. And then all of your pumps, 
uh, your air pump, your water pump, your lighting system, everything can be plugged into here. Whenever you put the air stones in here, you wanna make sure that the air stones aren't too close to the water pump because if the air bubbles get into the water pump, um, it, can, uh, it can seize it up and obviously that's, that's no good. So just keep that in mind. Just for demonstration purposes, I'm not gonna add the hydrogen or anything in here. We're gonna make a whole nother video on that later. Uh, but just for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna add a little bit of water in here and I'm gonna turn the system on so that you guys can see how the sprayers work. So this is the water that I chose to use for this system. You don't have to use the same water as I'm using here. You can use any type of filtered water. All right, let's pour this bad boy in. <laughs> you thirsty? That's a lot of water for you, Z. Okay, so I poured five gallons of water into this tote. Five gallons and a 17 gallon tote was perfect so that the water pump is completely submer uh, submerged underwater. You don't want any part of the water pump to be above water because then it's gonna get a little bit of air and obviously that's, uh, that's not good. Moment of truth, let's plug this bad boy in. Isn't this exciting? So cool. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. It works! Show what it looks like on the inside. All right, so that's what the water pump looks like with the sprayers. So it's what it's doing is it's spraying the root system every 15 to 30 minutes to make sure that it gets the nutrient water. And then the other thing that the roots need is a little bit of oxygen. So that's what the air pump was for. So we're gonna take a look at what that looks like now as well. So when you plug in the air pump, all it does is it just bubbles the water to add a little bit of oxygen in there, just like it does in a fish tank. And that should be, uh, that should be more than enough oxygen for the, uh, for the roots. All right guys, so that pretty much completes the build for this aeroponic hydroponic system. I hope you guys liked it. Hope you guys learned something. If you guys have some new tips and tricks or anything better that I can do, please put it in the comments below so that I can learn from you guys and other people that are watching these videos can also learn from you guys as well. I wanna thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this entire video. If you guys can hit the subscribe button as well as the like button for this video if you liked what you saw, it helps me to create more content for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. See you on the next video. Thank you.